Atlas. Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight.
stays clear. Not clear. Oh, this is pathetic. This should be a breeze. I expect good things, Amada-san. Right on point! Precisely. Perfect rhythm. Uh-huh. Go! 
You're here. Sorry for calling both of you over. Is there something you need from us? Well, uh, I wanted to ask your impressions on my dancing. Thanks. I was afraid I'd be interrupting your practice. Understood. Which details of your dancing should I focus upon for my impression? I want a fair, thorough evaluation of my routine. No treating me like a kid. I know I can trust your opinion, leader. And Igasan always provides straight answers. I appreciate your trust. It is true that I am quite adept at analyzing data. I shall give you my fully honest opinion of your performance, Amada-san. Thanks. Please be as critical as possible. The first thought that comes to mind is that your dancing is exceptional. You're very dynamic, with plenty of lively moves. Watching you puts me in high spirits. The way you compensate for your stature, with agility and wide arm movements, is impressive. Your dancing is sure to reach the hearts of anyone watching. Uh, really? Wow, thanks! What's wrong, Amada-san? 
Is it strange for me to be moved by your dancing? No, not at all. I just didn't expect you to compliment me so much. I'm just really surprised, I guess. What about you, leader? What do you think of Amada-san's dancing? Jeez, you too? Amada-san, what is your own opinion of your dancing? I still have a lot of room to improve. I'm bad at spins, and I struggle to keep rhythm. I said I'd dance for Koromaru as well, but I can't even dance well enough for just myself. Self-criticism is a very important skill. It allows you to better yourself. However, overindulging in modesty risks affecting your ability to see your value. My honest opinion is that you dance very well. I think you should accept the compliment and use it to further motivate yourself. So I need to accept more encouragement? Maybe that's true. Thank you, leader. I guess, son. Not at all. I really do enjoy watching you dance. I hope this doesn't come across as rude, but you really are human now, I guess, son. You're probably even more human than I am. Do you really think so? If that is the case, then it's only because I met all of you. You all are what allowed me to change. Me too. I wouldn't be able to smile like this if it weren't for everyone on the team. If my dancing skills are really as amazing as you both say they are, then it would be thanks to you that I can put my all into dancing. <laughs> I get it. Thanks a lot for everything. I think I'm gonna go practice for a bit. I want to build on the feedback you gave me. That is a great idea. If you don't mind, I'd like to accompany you. Sure. This time, I'll point out all the awesome things about your dancing, I guess, son.
Nervous, but I'll give it my all. Make sure you keep your eyes on me. You can do this. Believe in yourself. I did it. Oh, yeah. This is starting to be fun. Yay. Ooh, looking good. I'll join you anytime. I did it! Time to nail this! I can't stop watching! Yeah! How's this? Activating boosters! You're doing well! I did it! Right! Fixated on your moves, I guess. Not bad. I better step my game up, too. Now that's our I guess. You nailed it. This is starting to be fun. Stage clear. I've got a lot to reflect on. I need to practice more, too. You're just getting started. I expect next time will be even better. Thank you for the invitation, Yukari-san. It's good to kick back and hang out every now and then. Make yourselves at home. So this is Yukari-san's room. As I expected, it is different from mine. <laughs> you think so? 
All I did was put up a bunch of stuff I liked. Oh, should I make some tea? Since I've got company, I can use the good stuff I got from Mitsuru-senpai. I will assist you, or I would. But this is a dream, Yukari-san. Oh, that's right. Old habit, sorry. So now what? Suddenly there's nothing to do. Um, no, nothing to see here. And stop staring. I mean it. Still, I am curious about what you keep here in your room. Bags, shoes, cosmetics. My room does not contain any of these items. <laughs> yeah, those things are really starting to pile up. Admirable as always, Yukari-san. I think you are the definition of the word stylish. But why are you so interested in it? Are you trying to get someone's attention? Hmm. If I had to say, I think it's because it's so much fun. I love cute things. And as for clothes, I just wear what I like. Dressing all cute kind of changes my mood. It helps me see the world differently. The world? How intriguing. <laughs> well, I may have been exaggerating a bit. But don't you feel like a different person when you switch outfits when you're dancing? That's what I mean. It's the easiest way to change who I am. I believe I understand. It can be pretty hard on my wallet, though. But there are bargains, too. Finding those is its own kind of fun. Hey, do you want to come with me next time, I guess? We can find something cute for you. Really? Are there clothes that would look cute on me? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. And I know a lot of shops. All right, then. You're coming with us. Someone's got to carry all the bags, right? I see. That is reassuring. Now we can shop at maximum capacity. Then it's settled. We should start thinking about items to put together for your outfit. Let's all go to Fuka's room and discuss. Understood.
Later, Junpei-kun, thanks for making time to come see me. It's all good. So what's up? Well, this room is the same as my real room, so my computer's here too. I wondered if the network would work, so I gave it a try. No, it wouldn't connect to the internet, so there was nothing I could try. But when I was testing a few things, I seem to have received a one-sided communication. For real? Wait a sec, you just said... Sorry, attempting communication was possible, but nobody was responding to my attempts. That's why I gave up. But for some reason, someone managed to send a message to me. <sighs> Sorry I'm so bad at explaining things. I don't get all the technical stuff, but doesn't that mean it's from a hacker? You know, like Jin from Strega? Well, it's something like that, except the feeling I got from them was different. They also didn't do anything malicious. I don't really know. The communication link cut out too quickly. And when I say I got a message, it was really just a simple greeting. I was just tinkering around, and then a chat window suddenly opened, like I was hacked. And that still sounds scary. 
Maybe it was a bug or something. No, it didn't seem like that. It felt like someone was actually on the other end. They seemed a lot more tech-savvy than me, and were trying to get online, too. Huh. And? Oh, right. So, I managed to talk to them just a bit. Their online ID was Alibaba, and I think the user is a girl. A girl? What luck! That really changes things, even more so if she's a babe! At any rate, since we connected once, another connection should be a possibility. I'm a bit happy that there's someone else out there who's good at computers besides myself. Yeah. Oh, I know. Maybe we can find something out if I ask LP about this. Ooh, sweet idea. Well then, I'm gonna go look for LP. I'll tag along. It'll give me a chance to get to know that mysterious babe. What a nice surprise to see you both together here. Thanks to you, the ball is a great success. In fact, it's already reached legendary status. My, you're quite full of yourself. 
Please go forth and reach for greater heights. Well, everyone is greatly enjoying this. It's been a nice break from our tension. I must express my gratitude to you. Thank you for inviting us, LP. I humbly accept your thoughtfulness. However, the ball is far from over. There are no time limits. Please express your passionate soul to your heart's content. Yes, it's been long enough that I comprehend. But this is such a strange sensation. It feels as if we just arrived here a moment ago. Your ability to create such a place. To us, it seems like a godly power. Who are you all? I am currently a talented producer, but our original duty is that of a humble guide. All we can do is aid you on your journey. In actuality, our powers are not as unlimited as you may think. As proof, it isn't rare for situations to arise where even our existences are in danger. That's hard to believe. Are there really such powerful foes out there? All I can say to you is this. During those times, there have been and always will be those who rise in opposition. I believe you should do your best in the situation you find yourself in. So don't meddle and just do what we can. <laughs> That's trustworthy advice in a way. Very well, our powers are limited anyway. We'll concentrate on what lies before us. Now that that has been concluded, let us continue on with the ball. As I just mentioned, your possibilities are limitless. How you were assembled here was fate as well. Please carve your own paths on the stage. <laughs> she completely swayed us. Or should I say produced us. Now then, I should practice a bit. Would you care to join me? Let's go. I'm excited to see what kind of dance I'll perform. Nailed it. Nice warm up. What kind of dance are we going to see? Check this. Perfect. 
Tuning to do though. I think you can aim even higher, Akihiko san. Mm -hmm. 